Well, hello YouTube. I just installed version 2.4 of Prepared. I had version 2.3 and my uh, PMDG 737 NGX had several problems uh, in version 2.3, such as the uh, red TCAS uh, lines on the PFD and uh, the FMC was real laggy, uh, really slow. But as you will see, everything seems to be working fine now. Hola YouTube, uh, acabo de instalar el uh, prepare versión 2.4 eh, tenía la 2.3 que tuve que desinstalar para poder instalar esta como algunos de ustedes recordarán en la versión uh, 2.3 había un problema con el 738 de PMDG que aparecían unas líneas rojas de TICAS en el eh, PFD, en el PFT Primary Flight Display uh, ese problema se solucionó y en la versión 2.4 que es la que tengo ahora para instalar la versión 2.4 tuve que completamente desinstalar la 2.3 y en el proceso perdí todo lo que tenía instalado todos los add-ons que tenía instalado pero bueno aquí tengo solamente la versión 2.4 de Prepared con el eh, 737 NGX de PMDG I follow, um the instructions that I'm showing you here uh, on how to fix the uh, TCAS red lines uh, on the P MDG 737NGX. Basically, uh, if you go to the Flight Sim Estonia, um, where the migration tool, I've used the migration tool to install the, the, the 737NGX, uh, and, um, and I follow these instructions. And it says, uh, First, uh, this is what um, this guy did. Install it using the migration tool. I follow that. Disabled virtual FSX and reinstalled. Uh, I downloaded the, the latest FS UIPC version 4.934. I started um, prepared and selected the stock library. I initially selected the, the 738-100 with the winglets and I and I had the problems I, I could see the TCAS red lines but then I, I I turned it off and turned it back on and selected the stack library the one without winglets and uh, that seemed to fix the problem and then later on I was able to load the winglets version it worked fine so once the scenario is loaded you need to retract the window make it smaller after that you leave it in that size until it is 100% loaded. Once the scenario is fully loaded, you can now go back to full size. And as you can see in my video, I did that and it works fine. Uh, well, anyways, I hope this uh, help you guys uh, that are trying to get the PMDG 737NGX working. Now quickly in Spanish. Okay, number one, install el 737 de PMDG, el NGX. Uh, usando el Migration Tool de Flight Sim Estonia. Número 2. Uh, deshabilitar el FSX virtual y reinstalar el FSU IPC eh, más reciente. Lo pueden bajar del, del website. Es el, en este momento el que yo baje es el 4.937 uh, a pesar de que aquí dice 934, el, el último es el 937. Eh, inmediatamente después de eso, el paso número 3 es eh, abrir el, el simulador, el prepare y elegir el, el livery del 738, el que no tiene winglets. Yo elegí el que tiene winglets y no trabajó. Y la otra cosa que tienen que hacer es que tienen que estar en una ventana, no en pantalla completa. Una vez que termine de cargarse eh, los, el escenario y el avión, Este, se puede maximizar la, la ventana, hacer la pantalla completa de nuevo y ahora va a trabajar sin problemas, o sea las rayas rojas del TICAS ya no van a estar ahora voy a hacer un vuelo corto para verificar de que todo esté trabajando como debiera ok, now a short flight to make sure everything works as it should B1. B1. 
Positive rate, gear up. I must have hit a key other than G because the gear is not up. Now gear up. Time to install the approach to Aeropark. We're going to use uh, ILS runway 13. We're going to use a star uh, Sargo 7 Charlie transition banal. Clean up any discontinuities. Time to set the radios with the ILS frequency, it's 109.50. I'm going to set both radios to that frequency since I'm going to be doing a out of land at Aeroparque. Three miles away from San Fernando, we need to be at 177. So it's time to start deploying flaps. Flaps 2 will give me 178, so uh, I will deploy the flaps now. I'm going to arm the approach, select a second autopilot for the Autoland, flap stem, lower the landing gear, landing gear down, flaps 15. Flaps 25 Flaps 30 For landing checklist, 
flaps landing, gear down, speed, B-Ref. 